YouTube money! Now some of you sent me more celebs, specifically more YouTubers, that have yet to feature on this series. So why not? Today we'll react to YouTubers and their fragrances on GQ's hit YouTube series, 10 Things I Can't Live Without. Again, my name is Manny, aka Cascade Sense, welcome to the channel. And from what I'm reading from some of your comments, some of these guys brought it, so I can't wait to get into this. I think you're in for a treat, roll intro, roll video. So my next essential is Blistex and uh, my colognes. Firstly, we have YouTuber and Twitch streamer Phantom, and here he has some or what is probably many clones or fragrances in these cases. Not sure if that many will be essential, but I'm also an enthusiast of course, so hey, I applaud anyone who is enthusiastic for scent. And he also mentioned Blistex, so gentlemen, if you all care about smelling nice, I don't care who you are. No one wants to look at chapped lips, no one wants to kiss chapped lips. Come correct with your most essential hygiene and appearance before you mess around with anything extra like scent. So fair play Phantom, fair play. It's gonna take me a little while, I'm not gonna lie. How you, what, like what you put on is very important. Holy cats, where do we start? We got Armani Code Profumo, Valentino Lomo Intense Born in Roma, Moschino Toy Boy, Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca, Shelter Island, Duida Noho, Chanel Allure Om Spore O Extreme, Versace Eros Flame, Pacora Band 1 Million, Bond Number no. 9 New York Knights, Creed Aventus, Zerjoff Accento, and I'm probably missing some here, but good lord, there's more. Alright. My bad. I smell good! Know what I mean? Phantom, I don't know if I can get through all of this, but you smell nice with it. I'll give it up to you. I don't believe in like men and women clones. I I put on a lot of women clones. It's how you rock it, bro. It's like, can you pull it off? I appreciate the more fragrance community, grassroots, purist enthusiasm, but even in spite of fragrance advertising and marketing, I still do believe that some fragrances or some ingredients naturally conjure up more feminine or more masculine thoughts. Like prior to me knowing that bolder, boozy, woody, and or aquatic green or aromatic stuff were already marketed towards males, I already felt like naturally I should be smelling like that stuff as a man. And conversely, I always thought that fruity and floral stuff is just stuff that girls would naturally gravitate towards themselves. So it is what it is. I'm also down with people going for those vibes if that's what they're also into, even if they aren't part of that gender. But I will also agree with what Phantom said here as far as it's how you rock it. Sometimes I'm not going for an androgynous edge when it comes to stuff that is feminine or borderline, but when people come across and smell you, they just think it smells good or nice. And the marketed gender of that scent isn't even part of the conversation. So yeah, it depends on the scent, depends on who you are. It could be about how you rock it. Um, Right now my favorite though, this one, like of all time. Of all, of all time, either this one, this one is like my, my most, one of my most recent pickups. So we got a couple features here from Phantom. Firstly, a 100 ml Bond number no. nine New York Knights. Excellent pick from the brand. Bond is known for their mainly overtly synthetic and creative takes on already existing fragrances, as well as that New York-esque nomenclature, of course. But what makes this one specifically in New York Knights different in comparison to the other Bonds is that it is actually completely original. Really solid caramel scent, unfairly overlooked. And hey, I understand the nail polish remover sentiment that some ladies have on from Granica, they know more than me, but hey, all things considered, I think this is a nice unisex scent, and if your skin does better with sweeter tones, I feel like this really improves the time on your skin, as far as that caramel starting to come out even more. But on the other hand, we have a 100ml Zerjoff Accento, formerly part of Zerjoff's sister brand Suspiro, and here part of the Zerjoff Velvet Collection. I personally really dig Accento for being one of the prominent non-Aventus pineapple scents out there. Overall, a really nice, soft-feeling, fruity musk but with a lot of staying power so definitely more delicate than herba pura and if you want a more subdued approach i think this is very good stuff also to note believe it or not zerjoff has since transitioned yet again the velvet collection into the new vibe collection in late 2023 so eventually you will see the even new style bottles with a more enamel finish rather than the velvet from the former collections i don't know why but this this if i want like this one Dude, you got different seasons for different things. If you know, you know it's a lot. I don't like to get too deep into it because then it just starts messing up your head. 
this is my, my, I love this in the morning for some reason, just feel fresh. And my man must really love fruit because here comes some more pineapple, this time in the form of that 50 ml bond number nine, Nui de Noho. The pineapple here kind of mimics the feminine fruity sweetness in Mugler Angel, but it gets deeper and less sweet with the patchouli. So it's very much a truer fruit chewy, if you will. And despite its lack of originality, it's like angel perfected, at least for me, as the sugars don't stick out as much as an angel. So as a fan of sweet fragrances myself, but not something that's too diabetic i can get down with this one right here the more balanced green and woody nature that the patchouli here provides definitely puts in that work that being said as far as what phantom said here as far as morning i definitely disagree with that myself because i don't think there's anything work or morning about this scent to me it definitely feels like a feel-good night out scent morning for me is something fresher perhaps something someone would describe as more sterile or at least quote unquote work safe or more passable in those fragrance free environments you know the gray vetivers of the world i probably wouldn't go anything more adventurous than that in my office environment but then again we all have different lifestyles so morning for different people means different things but mine is a little bit more conventional but hey it is what it is we'll all just carry on like phantom said here if you know you know as long as whatever you do feels right for you then fuck whatever i say or anyone else just have fun with smells and if you also want to smell like phantom here here's how a 100 ml bond number nine new york nights currently retails for 460 USD, which is a lot for a scent that you're getting here. But not to worry, testers currently relist on the gray market for almost half off at 235 USD on Joma Shop. And to be honest, for the quality that you're getting with Bond, yes, they get mad creative on some already existing IPs and scents, and even some originals like New York Nights are already really nice. But as far as smell goes, I just don't feel like some of the synthetics that they use smell up to snuff as far as what you are getting back in what you paid. I swear it feels like their presentation is kind of where they factor in their markup and even still they don't feel that premium in hand despite photographing well online as far as the presentation goes altogether. So for me at almost half off around 235 USD instead of that being a quote unquote steal to me that's more of a acceptable rate. Maybe I'm in the minority when it comes to anyone who's ever assessed Bond but I just feel like that this scent at least specifically not enough that the budget is going into it for the fact I'm paying this much still, even discount. So same thing goes with Nui de Noho, not cheap either if you go the 100 ml rate at 460 or the 50 ml rate at 275 here. But since this thing is less sought after, you can find 50 ml and 100 ml at just under 110 and 180 USD respectively on fragrance by right now with a 100 ml at 180 being way under the going price of even a 50 ml retail so to me i can co-sign this this is a much more forgiving and acceptable rate than new york knights currently speaking but at least we're going to end this one on a happy note here because it's a different story with zerja facento to be able to grab a 100 ml for just under 170 on frag by currently is just absurd and while still synthetic but not as overtly synthetic as the interface bond approach i just prefer that it's turned down here but still bold at the same time in so simply great stuff and a great deal in a Cento, especially since the Velvet Collection style bottle in 100 ml still runs you 300 USD on Lucky Scent. So definitely grab it for under 170 right now. That's still under what a 50 ml goes for on the retail level. But yeah, y'all, if you didn't know, now you do. And thank you to Phantom for sharing all these scents with the class and making this episode perhaps the biggest ever. Speaking of smelling good, I'm gonna put y'all on. Everybody say this right here. All right, this is start, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this. But this, <laughs> this right here is called side effect. All right, it's a little, little, little costly, a little pricey, but I get compliments on this every single day. Moving on to the next one, we have YouTuber and content creator, Duke Dennis. And here he has a bunch of stuff. Firstly, he just dead ass pushed away his 100 ml Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette, no biggie. And that Tiziana Terenze Kierke getting no promo as well. Sheesh, but that is a deep cut here to also feature Initio Parfum Privé side effect above all of that. If you don't know this scent, this thing has a very appropriate name because it's so boozy that it's as if you're going to feel side effects from it. Very monstrous at first as well, which I know some of y'all are into, and even a little cough syrupy. Like medicinal to the point where it's no longer my thing, at least as long as it lasts here. But as it wears on, trust me, it definitely gets even better. Definitely smells of high quality. The dry down just gonna provide you with more things Things warm and cozy, the cinnamon, the rum, the tobacco, just everything you want to cozy up onto. And if you're looking for a high-end boozy fragrance for the fall winter, this should definitely be on your shortlist to try. Just 
don't overspray it. Boom. Honestly, this is not a terrible spray routine since it's not also a dance routine, but it could still be optimized. For me, I would just spray once on each side of my neck in the front, and then maybe once on top of a shirt if I don't mind getting that thing wet with fragrance. So legit, that's probably it. I know I'm a lot more conservative with a scent like this, a lot less colorful than Duke Dennis here. But with Duke spraying under the shirt twice, that makes me think he has a lucky lady later or something like that. So I definitely won't get into the middle of that if that works for him with a scent like this and or her. But otherwise, with the rest of his routine, I'd probably just skip spraying the bottom half of your body entirely. Again, I can't emphasize enough. A scent like this, no more than three sprays around your neck area, you should definitely be good. Do you come on sense? I done heard about it, I done seen yeah. people do like, it. Could that, Cause then you create a no whole nother, a whole new fragrance. Yeah, then it's like, damn, what is that? Hold on, man, let me see, man, hold on. Well, you might just did yeah. something. You might just did something, see, but you, you learn something new every day, so. Oh man, no, just no. I can't imagine a more feminine, passion fruity must like Kirke going well with a more overt, boozy side effect. This thing is so spicy, warm, and sweet in the deeper sense that I just don't want anything remotely too fruity or too jovial messing up that vibe. I think it's too much of a juxtaposition, one that doesn't actually complement each other. And I think that if you are going to layer scents, you want scents that do. That or I would go with a lighter scent and a lighter scent with the upcoming summer. Something like that. And nothing extra here like do. Although I don't want to poo poo his passion for scent because I love this for him. It's his personal space at the end of the day and I'm glad he is enjoying himself however he likes. And if you too want to smell like Duke Dennis yourself, go for it. You definitely can, but it won't be cheap though, as a 90 ml Initio side effect currently retails for 380 USD. But thankfully, this thing is still prevalent on the gray market as FragranceNet currently has it at just under $295. So again, don't pay retail for cents if you can help it, but at least you know now how to smell like Duke Dennis on the low. So thank you, Duke, for sharing with the class. Cologne. I like to smell good. I like to... This I, I didn't bring deodorant, but obviously also deodorant. Yeah. Next up, we have YouTuber and TikToker Noah Beck with his engraved 100ml Paco Urbane Invictus Eau de Toilette, the OG. If you've been in this game for a while, you'll know the scent. It's definitely very fresh, citrusy, and also bubblegummy because it's a Paco after all. And don't worry, Noah, as long as you're showering daily and aren't notorious in your circles for your BO, then you don't have to sweat the deodorant too hard. This is a special cologne. So I was on a TikTok live once and someone commented like, what kind of cologne do you use? I, I think someone just wanted to know what kind of cologne I used. And I told them, I went to my bathroom and I literally showed them, I was like, I use like Invictus Paco Rabone or Paco Rabone, not sure how you name it. Oh man, okay Noah, it's Paco Rabanne, Rabanne. And literally a week later, I get a package from Paco Rabone and they sent me like four bottles of cologne, like different, like different scents from this collection. As long as Paco ain't paying you for an ad read, Noah, it's cool, it's cool. Paco Rabone. But yeah, Noah Beck has over 40 million followers across all platforms, so if he would remotely entertain your products and you're that brand, I would send away too. This one has my name engraved into it. Like I didn't sharpie this on or anything, like this came like this. That was a cool moment, I was like, hmm. I'll start showing off other things on my lives too, you know, and just get a little packages. All right, come on. So I also have a plug myself over at Puig, but not quite like this. But at least y'all are gonna know now. So if you guys are gonna send me product in the near future, y'all can engrave that with a nice cursive uh, cascade on the front or something like that. Please and thank you very much, much appreciated. It's probably one of my favorite compliments too, is like when someone walks by and they're like, you smell good. I'm like, and hey, I can agree with this. Being told you smell nice definitely doesn't get old. And if you are a young person among young people and are wearing this stuff in Paco Rabanne Invictus, you'll be told that you smell nice a lot. Unless you exhibit antisocial tendencies or socially awkward or have poor hygiene, you know, all of the above. So great stuff from Paco, although it's not completely for me. Is it supposed to be a little bit more of a conventional daily driver or more of a club scent? I don't know. Obviously it's trying to do both. And for me, it's a little bit of a hot mess, but again, I I kind of outgrew this target demographic, I think. And even if that has happened, I don't want it to sound like I'm poo-pooing this genre of fragrance. It's for casuals, most casuals will love it. And if you still love it, then I can't hate on that. So if you want to continue to smell like this and or you want to smell like Noah Beck, a 100 ml Paco Rabanne Invictus currently retails for 119 USD on Sephora. So middle of the road for a mainstream designer, but at least you can save on this thing on the gray market, especially if you go the tester route. 
route. We are talking just under 60 USD, if so, on Fragrance Net, which is less than half off for the exact same bottle, pretty much. So big ups to the gray market for continuing to hold it down with the discounts, and big thanks to Noah here with his Invictus. Thanks for sharing it with the class. This. Mm, I actually smell this on a girl. So this is a men's cologne, though. I smell this on a girl, and very peculiar smell. Now everybody's gonna take my scent, damn it. I should have brought some bullshit one on here that I didn't like. Fuck. Now, last but not least, we have YouTuber and content creator Drewski trying to gatekeep his 100ml Bond Number no. 9 Greenwich Village. And hey, I get it, it's a really nice scent. Again, reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge 540, which I've mentioned in my video with uh, Devin Haney, the boxer. But here you achieve that trademark sweetness a little differently with uh, fresh floral in peony, as well as this really nice tropical lychee fruity sweetness. It smells really addicting into the air, and when it's being pushed up with that musky and broxy, and it's just very, very good. Truly a wonderful BR540 alternative, excellent stuff. Eventually the room will, you'll, you'll, you'll smell it in a second if you haven't already. Yeah. Hot sex, man. I, but honestly, I love this cologne and I think more people should also wear cologne. Facts, sure you can get away with just having a kick-ass personality, charisma, good health, physique, hygiene, attire, etc. But that scent though, to me that cologne or personal fragrance is that cherry on top to make your mood feel that much better depending on what you're going for. And perhaps the moods of others. The stuff I was going through, I went through like Axe and all that. I almost burnt down the house spraying too much Axe. It's flammable. We were spraying that shit in gym like a motherfucker, dog. I mean, with the alcohol content in this fragrance here and most modern fragrances out there, I'm sure all of these things are flammable to a certain extent. Though as far as confirming what he's talking about in Axe, yes, I definitely remember other kids and not me back in the day messing around with making Axe flamethrowers amongst other dangerous contraptions. Very dangerous, very amusing though. And hey parents, at least if you get your kids into fragrance early, like a more legit personal fragrance, that's a little bit more approachable that's also a little bit more expensive than say axe like a nautica voyage or something like that if you get your kids into these things early enough maybe you are able to teach them the value of conserving things and always spraying what you're actually going to use it for which should be your skin and not making it a flamethrower so why not let's turn our kids into fume heads and not raging pyromaniacs i digress though if you want to smell like grusky here a 100 ml bond number no. nine greenwich village currently retails for 460 usd again bonds are not cheap but at least the gray market is here to save you with joma shop stocking both a 100 ml full presentation or tester at 250 and 210 respectively so i guess it just depends on how much you really want that bond prezi again i still think that that's a lot for a bond either way you slice it but nonetheless and in closing Greenwich village is a nice take on br540 so big salute to drewski for featuring it here and sharing it with the class and there it is guys thank you for sticking around this long if you're still here but it's at that point of the video where i want to know what you think again got a favorite creator here or fragrance perhaps a take of theirs you really liked let me know in the comment section below also please subscribe if you've yet to we are on the train to 40,000 subscribers we are getting there surely we'd love to have you along for the ride and especially if you don't want to miss videos like these asap definitely hit the notification bell so you know right away when videos like these come out to you so until the next one though thank you again for the ongoing support take care for now peace out bye my name is manny wear your fragrances